Hey, Katrina here from Scrappy Horses. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so happy you're here today. I am working on something really different for me and something that uh, was a challenge for me. So I hope I can explain it well for you. Uh, if not, as always, leave me comments, questions. I'm happy to explain. And I'm never insulted when you ask me something, never. I'm more than happy to help. All right, first, let me tell you a little bit about the project. I was inspired by a quote that is one of the quotes we could choose from over at Path of Positivity. If you'd like to play along with that challenge, I will leave the uh, link below and you can come on over and take a look at the different quotes. Of course, we're always anything goes, so you don't even have to use a quote. But if you like a challenge, Go ahead and, and choose one of the quotes that's there. I chose, art is not what you see, but what you make others see. And so I thought about this for a long time and I was challenged to come up with something and I was bound and determined to use that quote because I liked it. So I was talking to my husband about this actually and he sort of came up with this idea and so I came to Cricut Design Space and I went to work trying to, trying to bring this to life. So as you can see, what I've done is I've taken a pair of glasses and I've cut them. And within the circles of the glasses, I have colored in color the flowers and outside it's all sepia, all right? It's colored sepia tone. So I had some different challenges making this work and I want to share with you the different challenges and how I overcame those. Like I said, I came into Cricut Design Space and I knew I wanted my card base, let's just start there, four and a quarter by five and a half. So here it is, that's this piece right here. Then I knew I wanted my floral piece right here approximately 5.23 by 3.79. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring in a rectangle or a square actually. And I'm gonna make this a little smaller this time, all right? Because I know that I cut some of it away. So I'm gonna make it about 3.75 by 5.15. First thing I did after I set up my sizes for my layers here is I went and I found some glasses. I chose to use glasses from uh, one of the close to my heart cartridges. So let's go on into images. I'm gonna type in glasses. I purchased these and there they are. I'm gonna add them to canvas. I'm gonna import them at 5.67, all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and type that in at my keyboard, 5.67, return on my keyboard. Now I'm gonna inset this, okay? And in case you're not familiar with inset offset, you select what you want to inset or offset. And I come up here to where it says offset. But if I go to the left of the line, see how it insets it? I'm gonna inset at 0 0.042. I'm just gonna use the arrow on my keyboard and there it says 0 0.042. I'm gonna go ahead and keep my corners rounded and hit apply. That's gonna be my tan color here. Coming over to the square, I'm just gonna click my tan. I'm gonna pull those down. Now, I wanna come back up to this red pair that I imported, I left my size alone. It's still where I imported 5.67. And I want to offset them. I'm gonna offset at 0 0.028. So I selected offset. Now I'm gonna go to the right. And I'm gonna have to go back to the left a little bit. Again, I'm using the arrows on my keyboard. I'm gonna hit apply and it's coming in black, which is what I want. And there are my glasses all done. 
All right. So let's just pull these over here for a minute. I'm going to select them. I'm going to align. I'm going to left click center. And I'm going to go ahead and combine them so they'll move around together. I'm done with this, so I'm just going to hide it for now. All right. The next thing I want to do is I want to find this coloring sheet. And this coloring sheet is in the Cricut Access Library. It is a coloring page from Corey Clark. Can you see right there? So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to go to Images. I'm going to type in coloring page flowers. And as you can see, there are lots of them. Lots of them. I'm going to type in here floral coloring page. And right there it is. Isn't that funny how we had so many before and it comes up right away when you type in floral coloring page. All right, so we're going to select, add to canvas, and there it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. So I'm coming up to where it says rotate. I'm going to type in a 9 and then hit click my image. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bump this up to approximately the size of this. And let's just see how close we are. What I'm actually seeing there is how are our glasses going to fit on top of this image? Okay, so this is our card layer. Okay, I know that I want to flip this. So I'm going to flip it vertically. And now I have this one up here and this one down here. I know I'm going to sort of rotate these glasses a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that a little bit. I'm going to move them to the front. And what I want is I want these flowers to fit in the middle. And they just don't. So what I can do is I can come in and I can drag on this square and make that bigger and start to make this fit. Okay, so you can just sort of keep moving it around until you get these approximately where you think you'd like them. You can also take this and move it. We have lots of different options here. So let's, let's see, let's move our glasses again. There we go. Let's go about right there. Right now, we know that we need this to fit in about right here. Okay, do you see our little gray square back there? So we're going to move this, see if we can get this to edge up on those corners and still make this work. Okay, we're going to bump this right back. I'm going to put this on the, move it to the back so you can see what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm making this fit inside of here, All right? So let's move this back up to the front. Let's bring our glasses back to the front. Move them back over. And remember, we can always play with these glasses. And you know what? You can always resize these glasses if you don't like it with your image. This is something that once you choose your image, you know, you're going to have to play with the glasses size and see what's going to fit. But with this particular pair of glasses and this image, this is what it would look like. All right, I'm going to drag my glasses off. I'm going to come way out here. I'm going to drag over this. And that's going to select my flower page and my rectangle. I'm going to come down and slice. And there it is. This isn't exactly what I had before, 
but it's close. Right, so we've got our glasses. Let's bring that back to the front. There we go. We've got our layering piece, the black. I also put another layering piece in. Let's bring this over. Um, actually, this is the card base. I brought in a little layering piece. I just cut that with the paper slicer. Okay, let's work on the art right here. That is actually the um, font from Close to My Heart Art Philosophy. Okay, so the glasses are from Artistry. Okay, Close to My Heart Artistry. The font right here is Close to My Heart Art Philosophy. So if I just come to text and I just type in art, I come up here, I just type in close for close to my heart. I know that it is from art philosophy, which is right here. And there it is. And I brought this in at 79.61. Again, I just offset it. All right, I can change my color right here. So I just offset this the tiniest bit. I'll come up to offset. I'm gonna go to 0 0.042. I'm going to hit apply. Here we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and just join those up so they'll move together. Okay, we are going to insert our sentiment here and we're gonna adhere that to our inside page. So let me show you a little trick. I'm gonna go ahead and click text. I'm gonna come over and I already have this typed out on another page, all right? You can copy this from anywhere, all right? I just happened to put it here. And I'm just gonna go ahead, highlight this. I'm going to say Command C for Command Copy. I'm gonna drag this off. I'm gonna double click and it turns it sort of blue. I'm gonna hit Command V and it's just right there. I don't have to type all this out. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna make it smaller drag it over. I'm going to double click, turn it blue again, single click, and that brings up my cursor. I'm going to hit return. I'm going to do the same thing in front of the E here. See the E here for Edgar? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit return. That's going to put it on another line. I clicked outside the box, and now I can make it bigger and smaller again. Now this is a really nice font, but I wanted this font. And this font is called Double Whipped. So I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna type in D-O-U-B-L-E. And there it is, Double Whipped. I put it in at 3434. I'm going to size it up just a smidge. And then I'm going to select the sentiment as well as the rectangle. I'm going to come up and left click a line and I'm going to say center. And now I'm going to flatten. And there it is. Now, let me unflatten that for a minute. Let's say you don't like this color. You can change that color and make it any color you like. I believe I did it sort of a really dark brown is what I did. Let's do that. Again, select them both and flatten. So now you have the outside, you've got your glasses, you've got your inside of your card here, and you are all set to go color your coloring page and then do a few more fun things at the craft table. Okay, so the hard part is done. Setting this up really was the hard part. So, you know, you may have a, an image that would be perfect for this, something where you color the entire thing. I have a lot of blank space. 
which I filled in with some close to my heart ink over my sepia. So that made it a little quicker than coloring all that. Let me bring this back. So you can see that I just sponged over all of this. This inside of here, the blue, I actually Copic colored. Again, any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to leave them for me. All right, off to the craft table. We are here at the craft table. I'm gonna be using some precision art glue because I have some really small things to glue. I have already come in and heat embossed the word art and my little glasses. I used embossing powder and, and did that off camera. I colored off camera and I added a little bit around the edge on that off-white kind of cashmere colored cardstock. There's my inside piece that will be adhering inside the card. And I have a little bit of shimmer tape there off to the left. I came in with a dark Copic, I believe it was like a W8. I went over this black because I had a few little white marks. I decided to go with W8 just to tone it down just a slight bit. If you go with a Copic black, it turns out kind of shiny black and that wasn't what I was after. I am now putting the little bits of that precision glue onto my letters. I went just a slight bit too heavy on the A and I needed to wipe off just a little bit of that glue. But my R and T were fine. So I'll go ahead and put those on. I decided to heat emboss those pieces as well as the frame just to give it a little bit of shine, give it a little something different going to go ahead and add this precision glue around the glasses and then I will adhere that to the black offset. You'll notice that I also go around those with the same marker. So here I'm going to go ahead and adhere them and then I'll bring in my marker again and go around the insides as well as the outsides of the eyeglasses with that same Copic marker. I decided to go with a little bit of shimmer tape here on the inside just to add a little something fun. I'll bring in my ATG and just adhere that to the inside of the card. I'm going to go ahead and put the layer piece in that we talked about. And you'll notice I sort of colored around just to make it a little closer to the color of what I used on the sepia tone. Right now, time to glue those glasses into place. This is probably uh, the most nerve wracking part of the gluing because you want to make sure you set it down exactly where you want it. And that finishes off this card. Thank you so much for joining me. This was sort of an intense video. So I appreciate your time and sticking with me to the end. Um, again, any comments or questions, please leave them below. Um, and I'll do my best to clear up anything that I didn't make clear earlier. Right, have a great week. Come join us at Path of Positivity, and I'll catch up with you in the next video. Bye.